Hey guys, Alan Seo here. Welcome back to another video of Utah Macross with me. So a brand new event has dawned upon us and sadly to say I was not able to produce an uh, information video to you guys straight away as I've been busy with my real life work. Anyway guys, let's get down to explaining what is most important within the event itself. It, and they are definitely the episode plates given available to us via gacha or the event um, style. Uh, of obtaining them. So let's take a look at the gacha first. Alright, so first of all, the gacha is not necessarily very important as the episode plate that is uh, featured here is Cheryl Gnome's uh, brand new 6 star plate that gives us points for her pink nurse costume. Which also, by the way, if you are not familiar with the event right now, the event plates given in the current event do also obtain points uh, or rather give points for the costume itself but if you obtain all 13 episode plates or rather 14 um, plus the lower rank 4 star plate versions um, the plates given in the event itself will not be enough for you to unlock the costume in a whole uh, but of course that's one way of uh, Getting there's one way of getting the plates or rather the points necessary to unlock the costume and it's something to do with the event itself which I have not talked about before in any of my uh, event explanation videos up to this point so alright guys other than obtaining the episode plate from the gacha well let's take a look at whether this episode plate is worth pulling in the first place before you decide how do you want to obtain the necessary points to unlock the costume if you don't wish to use your singing stones to pull the gacha itself. Alright, let's take a look at the event plate. Sorry, episode plate. <laughs> Alright, so here you can see straight away the four divas that can be equipped the episode plate. Alright, it is useful as a center episode plate because it has an S rank active skill. Alright, 15 seconds your score is boosted by 100% up. Definitely this plate is useful in terms for high score challenges but as for a life skill, well it's kind of lacking because at the 55 second mark for 10 seconds your combos do not break which is strangely enough what we need for this current event. We need its life skill more than its active skill. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's take a look at the special notes. So, no special notes given with this episode plate, which is kind of sad. Alright. Total score 3203, which is kind of low considering the fact that it has generally good balance of stats on all element types. Well, yeah. So, well. This plate actually focuses more on the support, that's why you can see here in the center skill, it has S rank, and of course it's the first one of its kind because for once, this unit's total and support. Now you don't see this very often, where episode plate actually boosts to um, increase the support stat value by 20% up. So what is support actually used for? Now, most of the time we don't talk about support mainly because it is something that you don't really have to uh, consider a threat or uh, important factor in terms of the life itself unless you have been noticing that you ha don't really have a lot of powerful plates. Uh, if you're a free to play player then of course considering that your arsenal may be only consisting of uh, maybe 3 to 4 uh, 5 star, 6 star plates uh, and maybe in your arsenal you might have a, a lot of fully evolved 5 star plates instead so your Valkyrie support well that's where it comes in um, like if you have the planes that I recommended in before in the last few videos if you have Messers or Arats plane um, which give you the highest attack value of 220 well, your support value shouldn't be too much of a hindrance uh, but of course if you don't have those Valkyries or Siegfrieds um, then of course your episode plate support value will come in handy to help you defeat the enemy during Valkyrie mode 
which will then uh, activate your Utahime mode, which will eventually give you better points and of course item notes as well. Alright guys, so if I were to give this episode plate a rating of to get it or not, I would sadly say this is a skippable episode plate. Other than the fact that it is a good plate for high score challenges, but you know, considering its total value is rather low, it's it's kind of sad. So anyway guys, do you really really want to pull the episode plate? Well, that's up to you. If you're a Sharon Gnome fan, of course, I can't stop you. Definitely, you will want to have this episode played in your collection of images uh, to add it, add it into your library of uh, Sharon Gnome goodies. So, hey yeah, guys, let's dive into the event itself and let's talk about the episode plates given in the event itself and to see how you can actually obtain more points uh, for Sharon Gnome's new costume rather than pulling gachas. You know. Alright, so we're gonna explain the rewards section first. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of items that you can actually obtain. Make sure you get the last few Zodiac medals if you want to exchange both Messer and Milia's uh, Valkyrie plates uh, given in the Chaos Exchange, which is kind of interesting why they would release two different episode plates um, you know, at the same time. Uh, we're kind of worried that uh, maybe Messer will not come back again because he has appeared a second time as a free to exchange uh, chaos exchange episode plate. So yeah, all right, let's take a look at the current plate here. All right, so it's four star value. It's nine hundred and forty four. All right, to units total will give you ten percent boost. All right, active skill. For 2 seconds, your combos do not break. Now, if you think about it, 2 seconds is very very short. Now, it is not very useful in terms of uh, active skill and of course uh, center skill because both skill rate rankings are only at A. But if we were to take, at it, take a look at it at the evolved portion, uh, which I will do so in a moment, let me just finish up the life skill. So at the 55 second mark for 3 seconds, your score will be increased by 10% up. Alright, so it's pretty much a reverse of the gacha episode plate that you can actually obtain. Um, of course, there is no special notes given as well. Alright, so let me just show you guys the evolved version of the episode plate. Here we go. I have it here. Oops, I shouldn't have single tapped it. Alright, so I've actually got more points. Let me just do this. Quickly, <laughs> all right. So as you can see, I'm definitely more than halfway to get uh, obtain the costume itself. All right, so let's take a look at the evolved version of the plate. All right, so its total value of the evolved version is two hundred, uh, two thousand and hundred, two thousand one hundred and three. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me today? So as you can see, the focus stat is actually it's so, while the rest of them are rather low. Okay, so its unit total value will gain 16% up, which is definitely higher when it was pre-evolved. Uh, pre and of course, now instead of the 2 seconds, you get a 5 seconds, which is still very low. Alright, so sadly enough, um, this episode play is not that fantastic. So why do we actually want it still? Now, if you can, if you can put in effort into this event, I will highly recommend obtaining all the available episode plates for this 5 star version um, and gain the luck value of plus 13. Now why would you want to do so? Because having an episode plate with high luck will actually help you in the past event that we just currently uh, finished which is the ticketing event. Now having luck value on your episode plate will actually give you the chance of having item notes or rather the golden item notes the, the ones that gives you the tickets to appear more frequently so yes and this current event is the only event that you can actually put in your own amount of effort without struggling to compete with others to obtain a plus 13 luck episode plate so if you can and if you have 
been saving up those energy ethers, please make sure you use them for this current event, only this current event, which is the Kuji event, um, to obtain all the 5 star episode plates available within this current event um, to, to help you prepare for the upcoming events for the future. Alright guys, so with that said, this event's episode plate, sadly to say, it's not that useful in terms of stats. But of course, with the luck value um, hanging on the line, it is definitely a welcome factor to have in your collection and arsenal uh, to, to stand by for any future events to come. As for this episode plate, we don't really have to check out the stats. It is definitely going to be worthless in terms of use, usage value. Um, anything below 5 stars, I will never consider having to power up fully. As you can see, my episode plate level is like at 16, while it still has like plus 2 luck. Now, why do I want to have this plate plus luck? Well, if you're already familiar with the episode plates and their secret boards, which is what we're looking at now, this is where you get your luck factor. They come with costume points. So how do you actually obtain more of this episode play? Now if you've been playing this game long enough you probably notice that hey sometimes my yellow item notes turn into episode plates. Aha! So you <laughs> you catch on quickly. <laughs> okay so basically what you're gonna do within this event I've never said this before in any of my other tutorial videos so if you're watching this and you're hearing this, hopefully it helps you out. So if you guys can see, I'm gonna go into the event page itself right now. Okay. If you're familiar with how this event goes, um, I'm sure you probably know by now that high score doesn't affect this current event. So with that in mind, you can actually set up your divas. Let's go into the the song itself, let me just go show you how I've set up my divas. You can actually set up your divas, and you can see my tab is actually set to luck. So, why luck? <laughs> so, we're gonna have the yellow notes appear um, frequently within the live song itself, and sometimes those yellow notes will turn into episode plates, which is what we want. So if you do not want to spend singing stones on the gacha to pull out Cheryl Gnome's new episode plate just for her costume points, this is an alternative method to obtain costume points without struggling to spend physical money or um, struggling to save up singing stones just to pull a gacha and obtain your favorite diva's costume. There is a more well, I, would, I wouldn't say layman method to obtain them, but it is, it is a bit more of a hardworking method <laughs> that you need to do. Okay, so as you can see, my whole D.Va team is set up in a way that they are all boosted with luck. And of course, I will have the, the few episode plates that will give the bonus percentage just to obtain more points uh, at the end of the life to gain all the wonderful rewards uh, within the reward box itself. Of course, as you can see now, the luck factor, let me just show you, is at 78. It is not the highest because, well, I'm equipping the brand new episode plate that is currently for this event, and its luck vector is only at 3. Now, it is not necessary that you, you have to use it this way. You can actually equip a more powerful luck episode plate that you currently have in your arsenal. Um, but I prefer it this way because I will want to clear the points within the reward boards. Uh, yeah, that is necessary to collect all the goodies much faster than I sh than I would be if I had this replaced with a different episode plate. So sorry guys, don't mind the screen popping up here and there. Yeah, just uh, it's part of the. Tutorial experience where touching things and then making things appear is all part of the accidental factor. <laughs> anyway guys, so this is another hint and tip that I have for this event. Uh, eventually I'll add this into the whole bundle of information that I would 
uh, set up for uh, just a generic video on how to handle Kuji events, ticketing events, and high score events, uh, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, so hopefully, with lots of luck, you'll be able to obtain quite a bit of um, extra episode plates for that four star episode plate for this current event, and you unlock points for your costume for Cheryl Gnome. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. Oops. I'm not done yet. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to show you a few images here. I'm going to talk about the um, challenges within this current event. So, pay attention. Alright guys, so before I begin explaining what the uh, missions are for this current event, let me do a big shout out to my brother Orlando on the Macross Space Time The Culture Facebook group. If you guys aren't familiar with the Facebook group that I've been mentioning for the past few videos. I'll leave the link in the description down below so if you ever wish to join us uh, for more Macross talk, anything to do with Macross, uh, with current events in Japan or um, what the voice actors are doing or maybe there are even fan arts or whatever um, stuff that comes from the Macross community all over the world. So yeah, you can join us there and we can talk more about Macross. Anyways, so thank you Orlando once again um, for bringing this up within the Spanish community of Utah Macross. Um, I have actually been planning to do this for some time because I've been planning to do a major uh, revamp of all the how to handle videos on uh, the events within Utah Macross itself. So I've been meaning to actually do this for some time but I just kind of forgot about it. So thank you Orlando for reminding me. Uh, through the comments of uh, one of the uh, Spanish members' um, inquiries. So here we have a whole lineup of the four different types of missions available within this current event. So on the screen currently I'm showing you, it has something to do with your life. So from level 1 to level 3, the basic requirement is you need to survive with that percentage of life in order to clear the mission. So level 1 you need to clear 60 or more percent of life. Uh, level 2 you need 80 or more. Then level 3 of course there is the 80 or more but there is one other special requirement that you need to do which all the level 3 missions will have. So take note of that. Basically when you enter into Valkyrie mode. Valkyrie mode if you are not familiar with the term by now is when your Valkyrie that you selected to uh, appear in the life itself will fight whichever enemy of that generation of Macross and then with your support stats it will defeat the enemy uh, depending on how many um, correct presses or touches that you have done throughout that portion uh, and of course if your enemy is defeated then you'll activate Cho Utahime Modo. So during the Valkyrie mode itself, something will happen which is basically the game will increase the or rather increase the difficulty uh, of you accurately tapping the note. So if you are a person who is already having problems accurately tapping perfect extremes on each notes available in whatever difficulty you've been so comfortably playing in, um, it is time to think up of a strategy. So here is my tip to you, how to handle this current level 3 danger challenge. Alright, so find episode plates, find the episode plates that you currently have in your arsenal, equip those that help prevent combo breaking. So, for example, those plates that have active skills like um, for 5 seconds your combos do not break, for 2 seconds your combos do not break, like the ones currently given in this uh, event's episode plate. The 5 star Cheryl Gnome episode plate given to you, which you can see in the background of this mission screen, that episode plate actually has an active skill that helps prevent combo from breaking. So life skills that prevent combo from breaking will also definitely help you within this whole uh, event itself as well. So that is my hint to you guys on how to handle level 3 mission difficulty um, easily. So if you want to clear the health portion, well, all you have to do is just change your center episode plate on your diva. 
uh, to a healing episode plate and you're pretty much set to go. Okay, as for this set of missions, basically they're all the same as the previous ones, just that they are replaced with uh, the basic requirement for the mission, which is basically enter Cho Utahime Mo and clear the song. So level 3, as you can see, the percentage boost in points is rather much lower than um, the previous mission mainly because this is a much easier to handle mission all you have to do is just enter Chogutahi Memo which is which shouldn't be a problem for anybody uh, unless of course you just happen to uh, be equipping your divas with luck like what I'm doing and then you happen to miss a few notes during Valkyrie mode and Chogutahi Memo doesn't activate which has happened to me yes I do know that painful feeling <laughs> so anyway guys this is the set of missions for entering Cho Utahime mode and clear. Alright, so as for this set of missions, as you can see level 3 has a higher percent of boost compared to the Cho Utahime mode versions. This one, this set, basically all you have to do is end the life with a score rank of whatever they have mentioned there, the two the letters that you can see in English, A double S. So <laughs> basically that's it. You just have to finish the song with either an A rank, double S rank that is required whichever mission that you are playing. Lastly, for the last, last set of missions within this current event, combo rank, whichever letters there is available there, B, A or S or more, and clear the song. Now, this is probably one of the harder missions that you'll probably have to face. That's why at level 3, you gain a 120% boost in points. Now, like what I have recommended in the earlier parts of the, the video, um, for this kind of uh, missions, I will highly recommend a diva team equipped with episode plates that prevent combo from breaking, especially if you are the kind that gets very nervous um, during lives and then you tend to make mistakes and all this kind of thing. So have your, your divas equip themselves with uh, episode plates that have life skills that help uh, prevent combos from breaking. And then of course, if you have center skills with that similar skill as well, prevent combo from breaking for how many seconds, have them equip them uh, onto your, your divas and then make things a lot easier for yourself. So guys, that's pretty much all the info I have for you on this current event. Uh, the more important essential informations. Um, you probably have heard me ramble about how you can actually handle the basics of this current event countless times and I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys are probably sick of it <laughs> right now. So I did, that's why I decided to turn all these information videos into something a bit more different, talking about the brand new stuff that is available in the events uh, whenever they, they reappear or reoccur uh, with different macros generations. Uh, yeah, so with that in mind, guys, do remember there might be a second gacha with another diva. And of course, since it's macros frontier, the other diva we are always talking about is probably Ranka Ali. <laughs> uh, she does have a nurse costume as well. So if you are not familiar with the costume, here is an image that I'll put up on the screen to show you what the costume will look like if she has a gacha coming for this event uh, midway through. With all that said guys, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I will wish you guys all the best for your gacha pools if you are planning to pull uh, Sharon Gnome's plate out. If not, well, hopefully RN Jesus will be uh, nice to you guys and obtain them through the hardworking method like I suggested in this video. And all the best for your event. And hopefully, well, like I said, RN Jesus is nice to you even in your Kuji pools. <laughs> and if you like what you see in here, as always, do hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon for more Utama Cross content in the future. Don't forget to hit the like button. <laughs> and share this wonderful video to all your friends who are playing Uta Macross and needs help. So until then guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!